This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of All of Our Back here with another episode of Death Mark. In the last episode, we finished Chapter 2, and we've yet to start on Chapter 3. At least there hasn't been any big old chapter sign to tell us yet, but we're about to get there. But in between the chapters, we're uh, checking out that, uh, that shrine that we couldn't get to because of all the bees! And we found some uh, destroyed Buddhist statues and how this might be tied into divine wrath and other such things because of history and all this other stuff so uh, some of these uh, ghosts and things might start being tied together maybe you know maybe even the first ghost and spirit who knows it's hard to say but we're not done yet so let's keep going so the, st so the statues were broken thrown away and then dug up they say the Buddha was a wealth of, has a wealth of patience but even he'd get angry same with, same with Jesus Ever hear of a man flipping tables uh, when people deal with money in a church or a holy place? Mm -hmm. Could that anger have turned to divine wrath and given birth to the mark and spirits? Mary. Have you been able to feel the presence of any spirits or whatever? About that. This land is much more foreboding than I had imagined. The enmity of the forest swallows all else. It is hard to sense beneath it. So, too much background noise, huh? Right. Yes, although... I'm used to background noise. I have it on all the time. Probably not a good idea. Sometimes you need peace and quiet. I do sense the same presence as Lady Christie's mark, however faint. I am sure the spirit that gave her the mark is somewhere in the forest. I wonder what crazy spirit we're going to find next. So after all that, we were only able to re reconfirm something we already knew. Eh, that's usually how mysteries go. Usually, usually don't you only bit, get bits and pieces, you know, and, and the details if it's a good mystery or not. Forgive me, I was unable to. Eh, what good are you? Once again, an image of us throwing her in the trash. You don't have to apologize, Mary. We learned plenty of value here, but we just said we just reconfirmed what we already knew. What do you mean? I'll tell you on the way back. First, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here! This place gives me the creeps. Maybe it's the ill will Mary sensed. Mm, maybe. I mean, we dealt with spirits, so that's actually a thing. Oh, we're actually... Oh, right, because all we had to do is back up. So like, for a second, I was like, oh, yeah, the, the, there's an actual map here, but do we actually have to go through it? I didn't. We leave H Shrine, walking down the beast trail towards the forest entrance. Maybe it's because of that strange tale, but... For some reason, I feel like someone is watching us from the darkness of the trees. Hmm. Is it the jitterbug? Oh, the jitterbug. Oh, the jitterbug. I don't even think anyone remembers that song at all. We begin driving back to the mansion. As we break out of the dense forest, I can see buildings. Li building light pops, lights pop up here and there. Well, that was a complete waste of time, and completely wasting all of our time. My anxiety lifted. I don't even bother to filter words that slip out of my mouth. Oh, I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Without further prodding, Christy starts in on the, her theory. Passion evident in her voice. I believe Shimio was right. Each shrine is definitely what's causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's those stolen statues. Don't you agree? I wonder. It feels like we just don't have enough info at this point to say one way or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things are going on in that forest. Between all the suicides and Shimio wandering around. Except Shimio's gone, so that doesn't matter. It couldn't just be coincidence, could it? If we research the shrine, we might learn more about the mark. I feel there's a lot that's a lot safer than risking our lives looking for the spirit. Don't you think? You might be right. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. My replies are half-hearted, which isn't what Christy was hoping for, so she falls silent. Yeah, I'm kinda like that in real life. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. Lord Enterdeck. Please stop the car. You want to... Uh, you need to go to the bathroom? You need to go tinkles? Mary speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. On the 
middle of the road? Out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, that's strange. Some say, oh. Following Mary's request, I park in a vacant rest stop on the outskirts of H City. Christy and I step out of the car. Yeah. Gah! Yeah, that flashing light it just like keeps hitting me. My mark is suddenly scalding. Is something nearby? Look! Someone's over there. Well, that's just a blank building. Wait up below. Oh, oh god, it's like a ten-year-old girl. Uh, run away! I play D&D, &D, I know what that's all about. A small girl steps out of the telephone box. Why is a kid outside at this time of night? Thank you for bringing me out here this late... Wait. Uh, okay. Thank you for bringing me out here this late at night, Aida. Uh, Aida? I got to talk to Han Hanayome. Oh, yeah, go there. Uh, I don't even know if that's a woman or not. I think so, so... Oh, yeah, glad to hear it. Oh, it's a dude. Okay. A rather y round young man appears, stepping out of the shadows. You got... You got your questions to answer, Suzu? Yeah, it's okay now. Kanayome sure is amazing, though. She knows where everything is. You got that right. She helped me find my limited edition Love and Her Hero phone strap I dropped. Uh, what's Love and Hero? What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV's restricted at home. Mom says it rots your brain. Oh, Aita. Is the bus coming soon? Oh, the last bus is on its way. We better go. We'll be in big trouble if your mom finds out we uh, finds out we went out. By the way, it looks like a. I guess the if you can't tell the image on shirt is basically like a a girl version of a ghost, a uh, cute or a moe. I guess is what they call it. Moe when they call ridiculously cute, like big eyed. And by the way, I hate moe design for characters. It's I don't know. I just don't like it. Be brother and sister, or someone that, or family of some sort. We watched from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine their relationship. The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy, what do you think? I turn, but Christy isn't there. She's gone. All that's left are her clothes. No. Hey, you there. Just how do you know that girl? Depending on your aunt's hall, report you for child abduction. Dude, just because he looks like a, a fat nerd doesn't mean he's automatically a fat nerd that wears, like, girly, uh, girl ghost t-shirts that he's, like, into that type of stuff, if you know what I mean. Well, there goes Christy. I don't need the poor guy. Just calm down. Calm down, lady. No, I try to placate her, but she won't budge. Um, I, 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 The man stumbles over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady! Don't be mean to Aida. Or... Maybe? I think I'm saying that. Uh, that's probably... That's gonna have a problem now, so no matter if it's right or wrong. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flustered guy behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I wanted to talk to Hanayome, so I had him come with me. Who's this Hanayome you keep mentioning? A ghost who helps find things. People say that you could talk to her from this telephone box. Telephone box? In this day and age? A, go a ghost, huh? She looks at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Earlier the mark was hurting, so maybe... You guys look serious! Uh, what's going on? He nervously glances between us. Does this scar look familiar at all? I showed them the mark on my right arm. Hey, hold on! What is this? That looks exactly like mine! Uh-oh. There we go. He pulls off one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. 
It's the cursed scar, yeah. I saw an article on it in Oopa Ar Oop Arts. Or Oopa Arts? No, it'd be Oop Arts. Oop Arts Monthly. They say it causes amnesia. It even kills you. That's nonsense. It's not all true, right? Right? Sounds like he's heard the rumors but chose to not do anything about it. That's not that's no surprise really. It's tough to believe it's uh, believe it's real until your memory loss starts becoming noticeable. Or age. Dot dot dot. I've got one of those too. Now we're back to three marks again, huh? Actually to only four would make kind of amazing. It showed up on my left wrist when I made that phone call earlier. Huh, I wonder so go can ghosts give marks without realizing it? Or maybe they meant the ghost meant to do that, sorry to say. Pulling up her sleeve, she shows us her mark. They both had the mark, and after calling Hani, and after calling Hani Yume, that's more than a coincidence. Well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. <laughs> Let's just pick up these kids and take them to the mansion. That won't get us in trouble. We tell them what's going on and ask them to go to Kujo Mansion with us. There's also candy there. It surprisingly doesn't take much to get them to come. I thought it'd take more convincing. Could partially be because they missed the late bus while talking with us. Oh. Makes us a bunch of jerks. Before they climb in, I warn Mary to stay quiet until we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. <laughs> you think? Maybe just jump out of the car like all speed style or some action movie style. First, we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Aida Nakam Nakamatsu. The girl is Suzu Morimiya. They tell us they met through the reader's column in the Oop Arts Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Haniyome, and Aida told her what he knew. Then she persisted, pestered him into bringing her to the rumored telephone box. They were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty strict. Okay, so they're not brother and sister. So assume. Her mother keeps a close eye on her after school and she needs permission to go out. So she snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed. Um, uh, I'm gonna say that's a girl. Hanayomi is just as famous at my school as Hanahiko is. Hey Aita, please tell them about those rumors. Do I have to? Okay, fine. Aida reluctantly tells us at Suzu's request. They're just rumors I read, but... Chapter 3? Come on, Chapter 3. Oh, we even get the titular, like, uh... uh we even get the titch... Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to talk through the sound effects there. But we get the titular art, if you look... I mean, you probably saw it at the very beginning, but the art for the... the on the... PS4 screen as well as into the main menu is, is her, even though she's not the, probably not the main ghost, but it's probably maybe the more they, I guess they probably chose the more uh, the best picture to use for the front you know. Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone box in H City? There's a ghost that looks like a bride and she'll find out find what you're looking for One of my friends actually tried it you went to the specific phone box that, that let you talk to ghosts. The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone. But all he could hear was this weird smacking noise. She was trying to eat peanut butter. No, he stayed on the line until... Did you... Or, did you see it? Did you see... Can you see... He heard a woman whisper, so we did what the rumor said to do, and said, No, I haven't seen it. Then she said, What do you want to see? This cat had gone missing, so he asked where it was. When he looked where the woman said it was, it really was there. So the rumors are actually true. Or totally true. I want to ask, go ask her where my future bride is now. Oh, want to come with me? Once again, we reach the home of homes. Not the king of kings, the home of homes. 
There. Oh, plop, just... I carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the sofa. Thank you very much. Bringing in your arms is not bad, but I am old most calm when I am here. Alright, game, you can stop with that, that, that nonsense there. You know what I'm talking about. Bagging. It's all really taut. I can't say I expected that. Then does that mean all that stuff about the mark is true, too? On the way over, we updated Suzu and Aida just, uh, with just about all they needed to know. Maybe it's Ita. I might say that in the future instead. They may not completely believe us, but they're not rejecting it outright either. It seems like Ita in particular has already experienced some memory loss. Something about forgetting the names of anime characters or voice actors, but people do that all the time. Christy looked, looked at him strange, but he appears to be ta taking it quite seriously. And Suzu stuck out of our house because she believed the rumors about Hanayome. They both believed in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find a way to escape the mark. Granted, they're also really curious about Hanayome. Pardon me, but may I ask, may I speak? The marks on Suzu and Ita, they are likely from Hanayome and Lady Christie. The feeling I sense from her, your mark is the same as theirs. So we can assume Hanayomi also gave the mark to you. Do you recall encountering her? Something weird did happen. Right before I entered the forest, I stepped in the phone box on Team Mountain. The phone rang out, nowhere, out of nowhere. Oh, it might be because of that. The telephone box in the rest area is also the rumors of Hanayomi. But I didn't pick it up. It creeped me out, so I left. I was never able to give that person one final call because of that. Uh, who are you talking about? That's not for children to know. Yeah, she's got off herself. <laughs> what a loser. No, uh, fine. So there are other phone boxes like that. Uh, I think... There are three that Hanayomi will call from. The one we went to in the A Highway parking lot is one. And one is at Team Mount Rest Area. That's the one Miss Christie went to. And, um, Ita, where's the last one? At the park, my teen apartment complex. It's the only one outside, inside the city. But why just those three locations? Don't know. The BBS I read didn't say. I read. Mister, do you really think Hanayomi is the one who gave us the marks? Of course not, maybe not. I mean, it seems like it. They, they called her, got a mark, boom. Boom, where's your, where's your flagging? But the rumors about Hanayomi go back five years. And no one's ever mentioned that if you call her, you get a mark. Susan's right. Rumors about this mark thing only popped up super recently. So you're saying, Hanayomi hasn't always been giving out the mark. If that's true, I wonder what triggered the change. Of course, I can't really say, seeing as I don't know anything about spirits. Yeah, I'm completely useless, like most MCs. It costs how many people find what they're looking for. That's pretty strange. Definitely the definition of ghost story. Yeah, if you want something over-the-top English dub that... Of, like, a terrible, overall a terrible anime if you listen to the Japanese version of it, but awesome if you listen to the English dub. I think it's called Ghost Story, I believe, anyway. Hey, Mr. Enterdeck, if those rumors are true, why don't we try asking where the stolen statues are? If we... Oh, maybe that's the kid, Suzu. If you return to their places, it might just save our lives. Search for the Buddha statues. Maybe that was uh, Mary talking. If Christie's right, we might be able to escape the mark without finding a spirit. Mary, what do you think? Or no. Mary, what do you think? Or maybe that was Christie talking earlier. Sorry, so I should I should just assume it's the person shown on screen. A good question. Objects with human forms are easily able to gain inexplicable powers. Bleeding, stone statues, cursed dolls, there are many examples. Historical statues of gods and Buddhas would certainly be no exception. Asking Hanayomi about them would be a good idea. We've already got the marks, so we can't get double marks, right? 
So says the doll before our eyes that has the inexplicable power to talk. The irony is not lost on me. Maybe it wouldn't be strange that Buddha statues would bring down divine wrath. Or an Etrodek, may I add? As I explained previously, your mark is evil. I mean, it's different from the others. Vanquishing spirits seem to weaken your mark's power. Good. It's been several days since she told me that I was going to die. Taking care of the spirits we encountered is likely how I'm still amongst the living. Or among the living. What are you trying to say? I cannot say what the relationship between your mark and Hanayomi is, but it is true it is in your best interest to track down the spirits. So I'm like a ghost hunter, you know, a ghostbuster, ghost hunter, spirit detective, you know, whatever you want to call it. I hope you will guide these marks better this evening as well. And at least it's not like my other reality self who keeps killing one of his mark bearers every time he does an adventure. Dot, dot, dot. I can't really picture Christy and Ida facing off against the spirit by themselves. If they failed, then a child would suffer the deadly consequences. That would be That would weigh heavily on me. If I turn it back, I'll figure something out. Thank you. Thank you. Mary bows her head slightly. And she needs to be oiled, just like the Tin Woodsman. Now you should begin investigating Hana Yome. Why does she only call for three public phones within each city? Because she is a jerk. No, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't have a very good phone phone plan. She probably has a plan with AT&T. Oh, what? Her secret may lie in the answer. You've visited the parking lot already. Please That's investigate the mountain in the Park by T apartment complex. Will do, Roger Wilco. Roger Wilco, Roger Dodger. <laughs> New info was added to the spirit fall. Rumors of Hanayomi. Other. And we got a few. We could play as, uh, choose Christy, Suzu, or Ita. We'll choose that here in a second. Let's look at our tools. No tools right now. Hanayomi. Rumors of Hanayomi. With the end of the 90s, online infrastructure has advanced the popularity of a certain widely used BBS. Hanayome is an urban legend that sprung up from the BBS. I think BBS is a type of life forum. It goes as follows. Certain telephone booths in H City will let you talk to ghosts. If you go inside one and wait, the phone will suddenly ring. Pick it up, and you will hear a strange lip-smacking noise. Yeah, like I do sometimes if you can if you can hear it or if, my, if the vo volume of my thing's loud enough. I hate when I do that, too. A woman will ask, have you seen it? Rumors say you're supposed to reply with, I haven't seen it. She'll respond with, what do you want to see? Someone actually followed the instructions and was able to find a missing pet. What a strange tale. A lot of people are best in interested in this ghost, wanting to find things or people who become lost. That's not, But not a single one has ever mentioned getting a mark from her. But the circumstances seem to apply this spirit gave the mark to Ita and Suzu. Plus, why is the spirit called a bride? If she appears as a bride, then someone must have seen her. The three phone boxes in each city let you speak with a ghost. One seems to be one Ita and Suzu used. It shouldn't take long to reach the other two by car. I'm concerned about the statues stolen from each shrine, too. If Hanayomi really can't tell us where they are, they would save us a lot of time. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> and, oh, and well, we gotta check our power, so let's see. And our stats are everything. Yep, everyone, sur everyone survived. Um, Suzu Mori uh, Morimiya, sex female, occupation, elementary school student. A young girl who called Hanayomi to ask her something and received the mark. She was raised in a complicated household and is extremely mature. The only thing childish about her is her love of animals. Oh, there's her creep. There's her alternate face. Not very really creepy. Like some of the other characters, I'd like kind of creepy or disturbing alternate faces, but. No, she pretty straight standard on her. Ida Nakamutsu. Nakamatsu. Male. Occupation self-employed. Or so he says. What is he a uh, what did they call it in that one RPG I played a while back that I did one episode of? Uh, now I don't remember now. I, I yeah oh I forgot to say I beat that game. I did the one I did the one off on it just to kinda of see oh no, that's that's a little scary, even though that's just supposed to be goofy. I I finished it, uh it was an okay game. It had some interesting humor in it, but I think I taught... Actually, I think I talked about it in another series I played. Let's just say it was okay, basically. An occult maniac who's addicted to BBSs. 
Well, we all we all have a fetish, don't we? He met Suzu through the readers column in Oop, Oop Arts Monthly, and he, she idolizes him like a big brother for whatever reason. This is the beginning of the hottest summer in the life of Ita, age 33. Yeah, that doesn't look bad when, you're, when your friend is a, like, what did it say your age was? Oh, it doesn't. I assume she's like 10 or 10 or something like that. What, what are the other partners, like, stats? Well, oh, she has really high spirit power. But, uh, that may make sense, I guess, usually. I think there's a theme. I think most of the girl, uh, female characters have had the highest spirit power. I think that's like that in a lot of stories, too, about ancient Japan, stuff like that. Like, women have a better sense to the spirit world than men do or something like that. I think. Yeah, I haven't read every single story about Japan mythology and all that. Looks like his stats are pretty... Oh, he's got really good decks. He's really good at running away with a bitch. Um, who do we want to play? Christy? Or who do we want to have with us for the first one? Um... Eh, let's go with the... Let's go with the kid for now. And then we'll swap out later. Lord Ita, Lord Suzu, and Lady Christy, Hanayomi is likely the one that gave them all their marks. Please visit one of the public phones that rumors say Hanayomi called. You may obtain a clue regarding the key that will end the grudge. That will end the grudge? Like that movie? Oh, man. All right, anyway. Let's go. Uh, rest area at the park. Oh, would there be anything in the rest area at all? Yeah, I guess we could go there. We could just go to the park afterwards if there's nothing there. Yeah, it's just me and the main male character at, like, age 30 plus or whatever and a 10-year-old girl. That's not suspiciously weird and creepy. The phone booth stands solitary on the edge of the vacant rest area. An endless sea of trees stand behind it. Christy must have run into the forest after she heard the phone ring. I can hear a dog howl from nearby. It almost sounds sad, but I'm probably just imagining it. I feel like that dog's calling someone. I think it's looking for its master. You understand it? Kind of, yeah. We have a dog at home, too. And that one's not a regular dog. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure it's... a spirit or ghost or something. Oh, oops. I'm only really supposed to talk about the stuff with my mom's friends. Mom's friends sound like fun. People think I'm weird if I do. But you understand, don't you? Y y yeah. We have all that imaginary friends when we were kids. Actually, I didn't, but still. Can she sense the supernatural? I had always felt like something was different about her from the start. Anyway, mister... I think that's the telephone booth that, that, that's in the Hanayomi rumors. Rumors say the phone is supposed to ring if you wait by it for a while. I'm guessing waiting outside doesn't count. Yeah, I think you're right. When I called her, it didn't ring until I went inside. But the booth is too small for two people. Either I or Susie, Susie will have to go in. Um, should I go in? No, I'll go in. I can't stand around and make a kid do this. Yeah, if Ida was here, hell yeah, we'd make him do it. It's cramped inside and almost impossible to move around at all. I'd be sitting duck if a spirit attacked me while I'm in here. The clouded glass makes it hard to see the outside. That just makes me more nervous. I wonder how long I have to wait until the phone rings. To pass the time, I glance around at the inside of the booth. There's a poster attached to the window. Help our investigation. On the night of 2-8-1990-X, yep, we are playing a Mega Man game, an assault took place in the forest nearby. If anyone has any info on the case, please notify H Police Department. This is dated five years ago. Looks like something terrible happened here. The phone begins to ring. I hesitantly reach out and pick it up. The only sound I hear is the dial tone. No one is speaking. What's going on? Game. There we go. Suddenly there's a strange noise. You like honey? Peanut butter? Crab apples? No. Crunching, smacking, the sound of saliva as someone chews. 
Tucked in the smacking is a woman's voice. The voice is creepy, cold, and chills me down to the bone. Is this Hanayomi? <laughs> she asks a second time. The rumors mention that I should say. Uh, I don't know. No, I have. I haven't seen it. I don't think anything happens to you if you don't, but because it's not one of those like survive or die type of things. But very seriously, I say I haven't seen it. Dot dot dot. <laughs> what do you want to see? It's going exactly as the rumor said. Well, keep going like that. Will we be able to get the telephone booths? Is Hanayomi the spirit causing the marks? Find out next time in the next episode of Death Mark. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.